In this presentation, we examine wired and wireless networks. The difference between wired and wireless communication methods is that wired transmission methods use cable to communicate, whereas wireless transmission methods use radio waves to transmit data from one device to another. The advantages of wireless is that it can be used anywhere, not constrained by cables. The disadvantages of wireless is that packets can be more easily intercepted. Security is a much more difficult challenge as the network can be accessed from outside the confines of a building, for instance. It's slower than wired methods and the signal can be interfered with by other electronic devices. The advantages of wired transmission methods is that it allows more control, security and reliability. You can restrict who has access to the network. Wired, wired methods also have greater speeds than wireless methods. However, cables can be difficult to maintain in big organisations. Wired networks can use a variety of different cables, the most common being copper and fibre optic. Copper cables use electrical signals to transmit data. There are three types of copper cables that are used. There are coaxial cables, however with coaxial cables the signal loses strength over long distances. Unshielded twisted pair, this is a pair of copper cables are twisted together and allow data to be transmitted over longer distances. And also we have shielded twisted pair, where the shielding around the twisted cable means that the signal is less susceptible to interference. Fibre optic are glass or plastic cables that use pulses of light to transmit data. Light is reflected off the inside walls of the cables. Fibre optic cables are light, thin and very flexible. Multiple modes can be transmitted where the light is reflected off the fibre walls at different angles, thereby increasing the bandwidth of the fibre optics. On arrival at the destination, the light signal is converted to a digital signal. The advantages of copper cable is that they're cheaper than fibre optic and they're also really reliable because a telephone is powered from a copper cable and does not rely on a separate electrical power supply. However, it's very slow, has low capacity, can only be used over short distances and interference can occur. Benefits of fibre optic is that it's higher bandwidth than copper cables and also can transmit more data. There is less attenuation of the signal, so there's less need for amplifying the signal. Therefore, fibre optic is more suitable over long distances. And there's less crosstalk interference between the fibres compared with copper, so the quality of the signal is better. However, the main disadvantage, disadvantages are that it's expensive and also can be difficult to install.